Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're talking about game saves and emulators. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I get asked a ton of different questions about save games on emulators. In this video, I'm gonna answer the top three questions that I normally get. Number one, how do you back up your existing save games? Number two, how do you transfer save games between emulators and maybe even systems, for example, Android and PC? And number three, how do you download someone else's save game from the internet and use it in your emulator? Now, before I get into too many details here, I do wanna clarify there's a big difference between a save state and a save game. A safe state is more or less just a memory dump, a snapshot taken from the emulator. You can recall it at any time. You just hit load state, it brings you right back to where you were before. A save game is done via the actual game, and this is what we're talking about here. Whether you're on Android or PC, the very first step here is to locate where your games are saved. On PC, you can do that through the file explorer. On an Android device, you need to use, well, I guess whatever file explorer you have. In this video, I'm using files by Google, but if you've got something else, it should work too. For Android devices, if you're using a file manager, just go on ahead and select internal storage. From there, go on ahead and select the folder of the emulator you're looking for. We'll start out here with RetroArch. In the RetroArch folder, go on ahead and click Saves, and this is where your game saves are located. Depending on which emulator you're using, the location of your game saves may differ. For example, in DuckStation here, your game saves aren't located in a folder called saves, they're located in mem cards. Another example here in Pizza Boy GBA, your game saves will be located in a folder called save. To back up any of these game saves, all you have to do is just copy the game save that you wanna back up and paste it in a different location. Whether you're emailing it to yourself, whether you're putting it on your desktop, it really doesn't matter. You can just copy and paste it pretty much anywhere. To restore a saved game, all you have to do is just delete the existing saved game from the emulator file itself, and then move back in that backed up copy, and that's really about it. Now, if you're looking at moving saved game data from one emulator to a different emulator or from Android to PC, the process is largely the same. Just move the save game from whatever emulator you're using into whatever folder for the save games of the emulator you want to go to. It is worth noting that not all emulators use the exact same save game format, and I brought up this for a very specific example. Using Desmumi, and this is for Nintendo DS, you can see it saves in .dsv, that's the extension here. Now, .dsv isn't a universal save type. You might need to convert it. Fortunately, there is a really great website called saveeditor.com. I'll leave a link in the description below and I definitely recommend checking it out. Converting a save file here is really simple and straightforward. Just click browse, locate your file, and then click convert. It works for a bunch of different systems. And that brings me to the third question, downloading someone else's game and playing it on your emulator. And fortunately, the process is very straightforward as well. I do recommend picking up game saves from gamefaqs.gamespot.com. I'll drop a link in the description below. They're absolutely free here as well. Uh, depending on the game that you're using, there might be different versions of game save files. I do recommend Trying to get one that automatically works with the emulator you're using, you might have to convert the game save file. You might have to try to use a different ROM altogether. It is really hit and miss from here. For this example, I'm going to use The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, and I'm going to use a GameCube USB memory adapter save, one labeled for North America because that's the version of the ROM that I have. So I wanna make sure everything matches. And there is one here from Biospark 3 that says everything completed and unlocked. So I'll just download that. The file size isn't very big at all. So for this example, I'm using Dolphin on PC and this is where my game saves are located in Documents, Dolphin Emulator, GameCube, USA, and Card A. Now, if you take a look, there's already an existing game save in there. If you don't have an existing game save in there, I do recommend starting up the game just saving the game at some point in time so you get that base game save file. Because what you'll need to do is rename the downloaded save game to match the existing save. For example, if I paste this downloaded game save file in here, you'll see the name is different. To make things really easy, to make things work well, what I need to do is change this name and have it match this name here. And then that way there shouldn't be any sort of issue with compatibility. So what I'm going to do is actually delete this file out of here 
and rename this to match that one. Once this is done, I can boot up the emulator and the save game should be there. So here's Wind Waker booted up. I'll get into the main menu and you can see the save game load right there. So there's two save games in total, I guess in this downloaded file, he has two different save games. The person's name is Alex. As soon as I open up the save game, you can see it looks like it's complete. And just to prove that this process is the exact same on Android and also works, here's the first step I did was create a save file for Wind Waker. You can do these next series of steps in one of two ways. One, you can do absolutely everything on your phone, or two, you can plug your phone into your PC and navigate through your phone that way. It's entirely up to you. But what you need to do is find out where Dolphin is saving your games. For me, it's in the internal shared storage in Dolphin Emu in GameCube USA Card A. Very similar to PC. And here is the game save file. So what I need to do now is move over that file that I just downloaded from Game FAQs and again, rename this file to match this one. I'll have to get rid of this file altogether and then all I'll be left with is just one file. So I can delete this one right out of here. I'm gonna click rename on this file and paste the name that I just copied. And now I can just boot up Dolphin and the save game should be there. So here's Wind Waker up and running on my phone. If I take a look when it loads the save games, I can see Alex's save games again and opening those up and I can see those games are complete. So we've just proved that downloaded save games work both on PC and on Android if you follow those steps. And if you play a game on Android and wanna move those save games over to PC, you absolutely can. At the end of the day here, there's no guarantee that game saves will carry over from one emulator to another. The emulators might treat them different, you might have to do some conversions, and you might not get the results you're looking for. On top of that, there's no guarantee that downloaded game saves are going to work. Again, you might have to do some conversions and you might not get the results you're looking for. The easiest way is just to stick with the exact same emulator if you are trying to transfer things and your experience should be pretty good. But anyways, that's all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts on emulation game saves in the comments below. And if there's another question you want me to tackle about emulators, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.